Hey beauties and welcome to my day in the life vlog. Today we are going from start to finish. It is literally, I think it's like quarter to eight. It's dark outside. It's probably the most demotivating weather ever today. But do you know what? We're going to have a good day because we are. I've got a very busy day ahead. I'm very excited to bring you along. I hope you enjoy it. And don't forget, if you are new here, don't you dare forget to like and subscribe because you don't want to miss another video. I hope you guys all enjoyed my workout back on Thursday. And today, let's do a little vlog. So I used to work out because I've got a class at nine o'clock, which is like just over an hour away. So I want to get my workout in before I do the class. Now some people go, honey, why do you do a workout for a class? Because in the class, I'm too busy. I, I try not to join in so much. I like to see my ladies on Zoom and see what they do and see how they get on. So, yeah, I just try not to join in. I mean, I do join in in some of it, obviously. But the goal is for my classes not to join in. So, I need to do my own workout. And also, like I need to be pushed as well. I'm one of those girls that just needs to let her stress out through workouts. So, that's what I'm going to do. That is my alarm. Don't worry, phone, I'm already up. Oh, God, don't look at that. <gasps> it's Tom. He decided to take a picture of my phone. Like, literally catfish my phone and get really close. It's really fun. Right, I'm going to pack on with a workout. You can just join the, the journey, guys, you know? I mean, it's lower body day today. Um, there might be a few facial expressions pre-workout, just so you know. Um, and I will expect to have a bigger booty by the end of this workout. That's just the way every single lower body workout goes with me. I just look in the mirror and I go, honeys, why is it not there yet? <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm gonna crack on with the workout and you're gonna join me too. Let's go. because I haven't had one yet and I'm not okay with that. So I've got 15 minutes until my next class. Wow, the lighting here is so yellow. I'm gonna get a quick coffee now and then, ding. And then, it's a bit better in here, isn't it? And then I will do the class. So let's just get a cheeky little coffee, guys. I don't know about you, but I just absolutely love morning coffee. Let me just put you down here, hold on. There we are. Oh, guys, I'm actually really enjoying this, bringing you around for the day, and I hope you are as well. Lovely. I know you can't see my head right now, but I'm actually okay with that because I'm a bit of a hot, sweaty mess right now. Ta-da! So, that workout was good. I quite enjoyed it, you know. Just, my watch died halfway, so I haven't my watch on. And you know, and you're like, did I even do a workout? Because my watch turned off. I was fuming at myself. But when I looked at my watch this morning... Or when it was on charge, I'll charge it through the night, guys. You'll get to know this. So charge my watch through the night. I went to look at it this morning, and I was like, why isn't it turning on? I was like, oh, God, it's broken. Because I knew I'd put it on charge. Anyway, looked at the lead. <laughs> Only one end of the lead was in, wasn't it? I've got blonde hair for a reason. That is my excuse. Last night, I was just so tired. I think I just plopped it on the floor and just went to sleep. So it is kind of my fault, I suppose. But I'm still annoyed at myself because now I don't have a watch. But hopefully for this next class it will be on. Oh, uh-oh, 
think I need to empty the bin. <laughs> That's how many coffees I have a day. <laughs> no, I'm joking, it's a week. <laughs> but yeah, so today is actually a Wednesday, but you'll be seeing this on a Sunday. And so that's exciting. Um, so it's actually a working day today, but I my I like to think my working days aren't actually that boring because I, I do quite a lot. You know, like I work for myself, but I also work for other comp like dance companies as well, um, which is all very exciting. So it's quite nice. I love doing the dance; it breaks up my day, and then I feel more motivated to build my own business. You know, but yeah, you just got to get like the work balance in make sure you enjoy your job is what I'd always say to any little pretty little girl out there always enjoy your job there's nothing worse than hating a job honestly I've gone through so many jobs that I hate and I finally found one that I love and I'm just going to stay with it forever and that is just the most exciting thing and another thing I found is you guys and I love this I love this account so much like oh my god I'm not even big I'm so small but I just love the fact that you guys can engage with what I'm doing, you like to watch me, and it's just exciting, like, I just love that. So don't worry, I'm never gonna come, never gonna quit YouTube, because I do like doing it, really fun. And also, it just, like, usually breaks up my week so much. I'm like, oh yeah, I get to film YouTube tomorrow, and it's, like, it actually makes me so happy, because also, not only that, it, like, really breaks up the day as well, which is lovely. I think I've overdone it with the coffee, because it's overflowing, look. Look at that little beauty. I mean, frothier the milk, the better it tastes, honey. Lovely. Right, let's drink this, have a little sit down. Oh God, excuse the tip of the kitchen. So as many of you know, this is not my house. So some of the furniture choices or the cleaning choices from Tom isn't all my decision. Yeah, anyway, talking about house is actually moving. Oh my God, Tom and I found the nicest flat oh okay it's not it's probably not the nicest but for like a rented accommodation for our first place i think it's really nice that's what we need it's, it's actually an apartment but it's two floors so we're not going to get our hopes up because it is actually they want us to move in a bit earlier than we we are actually anticipating and obviously with coronavirus lurking with us um being self-employed and being in lockdown um, is a bit scary because obviously we earn more when we're not um, in lockdown like everyone so yeah it's one of those things where like we really want to do it that is a lovely flat but we'll be able to afford it we want to have like a happy life we want to save for a mortgage as well while we're living there um, but I basically got a job like really close to where this flat is and I'm not even kidding you it is less than a mile walk i could if i looked out my window i'd probably see my work and also there's a big waitrose and john lewis next to it and that just makes me so happy i can do all my home furniture shopping in there i can go in there get all my little bits and bobs um i mean not the weekly shop it's waitrose guys i know i'm not rich anyway i'm gonna finish this coffee because i've got a fitness class to teach so i'll see you after the class okay so you guys have come downstairs and i'm making some protein pancakes i am very excited for these let's have a little look mm. look at those little beauties so i'm just very excited for these actually i've never tried them before but the my protein pancake mix oh look there's a little blog done so this is a my protein pancake mix and it is oh my god i can't pick it up no way I physically cannot make round pancakes. It doesn't matter what I do. I'm using a round pan. They are always, like always, oval shape. <laughs> I, honestly, I think it's like my hidden skill. I just don't know how I do it. So you lot, this is the finished pancake result. Oh, oh, oh. So they are literally ovals. They're not even round, but you know what? It still stays the same, right? Let's give it a little try. Here we go. Oh, a little bit too high there, wasn't it? Right. Oh, I'm gonna get myself comfy. Cozy, check that camera angle out. Yeah, Lee's bossing it. <laughs> Let's give it a try. This is genuinely never tried these before. Now I'm just gonna try the actual pancake because 
someone told me, a good friend of mine messaged me and said, let me know how you get on with these because um, apparently they taste, like people have said, they taste quite chemically. So let me try it. Never tried it before, nothing on it, just the pancake. Let's try. Hmm. Oh my God. I'm not just saying this because like I'm on camera. I would, I'm so honest, I'd tell you if it was awful. But that is a my protein pancake mix, which is maple syrup. Not chemically at all, but it is so sweet. Like to the point when you're like, oh my God, as if that isn't bad for you because it's so sweet. But delicious, absolutely yummy. So I'm just gonna crack on and eat this, I think, you guys. If you, I'll put my link um, below if you wanna go and shop with <clears throat> my protein. I'll put the link to the pancakes because, oh, they are good. I've also put on the chocolate hazelnut spread with Greek yogurt. So just look at that spoonful there. Oh, honestly so good. I honestly can't believe how good this is, like, amazing. So, I have literally been doing work for the last two hours, so it's been really boring. I just thought, you know, my little beauty don't want to see that. But, I have a phone call with my mum in a sec. I haven't spoken to her in a few days. We'll have a little chat, see how she's getting on. We'll see how she felt after my fitness class. She does my class every Wednesday and Friday. I'll see how she got on. You've got a real true review here, because my mum, never compliments me never it's always room for improvement but that's just what mums do isn't it so you are honestly going to get the most honest review ever let's give her a little ring see if she answers with just my luck now that she doesn't answer come on mum guys just look at the weather it is just so awful don't you just hate it when it's bad weather like i think it just affects everything doesn't it but we're gonna have a product today and we're gonna be positive and it's gonna be fine. Right, you lot, mum let me down. She didn't answer the phone. She actually answered and said, I'm on the phone. <laughs> she screamed it down the phone at me, bless her. So she's busy, so we're gonna go find Tom. Darling, I've come up to see you. Hello, darling. Hello. Are you having a good day? I am. What are you doing? <gasps> you watching TV? What are you watching? Let's see. Seal team. Seal tomb. It's rather good. Do you like it? I do. I'm rating out of ten. Yeah, it's, it's a good eight. It's a good eight. Um, what season are you on, or whatever it is? Episode? One, season two. One, season two. Oh, we've That's got right. a lovely little close-up here. You look beautiful. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad. I told you he'll be doing nothing. Here I am, working away, slaving away, keeping the country going. Yeah, and well, I've got a call in about ten minutes, so waiting for that but nobody is ever as busy as Luce is. She's no I am just so busy <laughs> no darling you deserve a rest you know you just stay there in your oh, little yeah. man cave I'll leave you to it good I knew he'd be watching that you know still team he's been watching it all week he actually stays up really late to watch it but me no 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 I'm such an early bird I don't know about you guys but literally I will be asleep we like 30 minutes picking the pillow. Like, no. Early bird. I like them to get up nice and early as well. So you're probably thinking, why is there so many stairs in this house? It's a townhouse. Um, and there, I've got one more set to go. There's about 200 stairs in this house. So um, the good thing about that is you can get your calories, your steps in. Sorry, your calories in. Your calories, your steps in. So that's good. But yeah, here we go. I thought I'd just turn you around. Ta -da. I have actually got clothes on guys, no judging, don't worry. I am, but I'm just in a crazy mood today. The weather is absolutely appalling, so I'm gonna chill. But for now, I'm gonna do a little bit more work. I've got a few more bits to finish off, and then we're gonna go for a walk. It is absolutely peeing it down out there, but I think it'll be okay. We'll go for a walk, we're gonna go and get a little Cafe Nero, I think. I'm feeling a Cafe Nero today, just a little skinny latte will do me, I think. I'm feeling a bit sluggish today, like I need another coffee to wake me up, so we'll go and do that. Um, but just, I'll be back in a sec, I'm just going to do a bit more work, um, sort out my lovely ladies, my lovely clients, I've got to just set them up and enrol them, and then I'll be back. So, I'll see you in a jiffy. Right, 
right you guys, it is about one o'clock, half one I think, and I'm gonna take myself out on a little walk. I just need to get my steps in. I've been literally sitting at my laptop all day, but I've created some banging recipes for my clients and I can't wait for them to try them. They look so good, I'm actually like really jealous of those recipes. Can't wait, so I'm gonna go for a walk and we might go to Caffeineria depending on how busy it is. My current look, it is foul, look at the sky. Though. So you guys, I ended up going to a little independent shop, which was great. It's called Nest. Let me try and find it. There we go. Really lovely little shop, independent and really good. It's Cafe Nero it had eight people in there. And I just didn't feel like it was right to do that. So I went to a little independent coffee shop. It was really lovely and really nice. And I feel like I've done something good now. I mean it was £3.50 of this little cup, but I've supported local and that is the main thing so I'm feeling good and I am just getting my steps in now heading down I'll just do like a little circle it's a very boring route but it gets my steps in it does the job so see you in a bit so you guys I've decided to go on a bit of an extra walk it's a little bit of a detour but I've been about an hour so far but it just looks really pretty down here I've just been over that bridge there so I've just got home and I've made this bagel now these are bacon medallions so they're 82 calories for two medallions i mean they are small but they're still very good and that is just a fried egg and that is the warburton's thins bagel mm -mm -mm. so sorry you guys i cut off halfway through my walk i literally went on a mammoth walk i am going to tuck into this now which i'm very excited for um, it's been quite hot though, so I'm just going to let it cool down for a bit. But yeah, so I literally did 10,000 steps in one walk, which was really good. I mean, I had two already, so I did, technically did eight. But um, yeah, I feel good now, because I'm just going to sit down for like the majority of the day now and just do some more work. And then I've got a PT later with my friend. So because she's my friend, she won't mind at all. I'll, um, I'll show you her as well. I'm just going to do a little PT session over Zoom, because um, she wants to hit her goal. So yeah, anyway... Mm. This is needed. I'm starving. Mm. Guys, guess who's finished work for the day? Me! It is half four and I've finished work the day and I'm just so buzzing. Please don't judge this outfit. I went for a walk and I got very wet and my trousers got ruined so I'm in my completely ugly grey joggers which are just completely comfy. So you know. But yeah, finished work for the day. There it is. Oh yeah, and I had a protein <laughs> um, protein cookie earlier, which was yummy, and I'm just watching someone else's vlog, and I just love watching vlogs. So I've been watching a few vlogs, um, it's half four, and I've got a PT with my friend Sarah at quarter past five, so I will take you there. And then I'm also going to tell you, like show you my nighttime routine, um, what I do with my face, because my skin is just horrendous right now. Like the spots down there are real. It's disgusting. It's, it's these masks, I tell you. I literally went into Sainsbury's for about half an hour. Come out. I've got a spot on my face, so I'm not too happy about that one. But it's going to be okay. I will get over it eventually. Um, so yeah, I'll show you my nighttime skincare routine. And then... Um, I will just take you through the evening. I've also got a banging dinner planned tonight. It is a sausage pasta bake. Mm, mm, mm. Now, bringing in the fitness world and sticking to my calories, I've eaten quite a lot today. So I've only got 450 calories left. So I've got to try and fit it into that little proportion. But what I'll, I'll show you what I do because I do. I actually do different meals for Tom. Like I'll give him like the full fat sausage. Sorry, my head keeps falling out of this. I'm really bad at vlogging as you can tell. Um, so here we have like the full fat meal um, and then I'll have like the slightly lower calorie one. So if you've got a boyfriend out there or a friend who likes to eat a little bit more fatty foods, then you can, this might help you. So yeah. So here we are. I'm waiting for Sarah to join our PT sesh. I've got the stuff down there that I'm gonna use for her today. And she's going to do it from home. Who said you can't stay fit at home, lads? You absolutely can. So I'll wait for her to come and then uh, she'll say hey. 
Here she is. Good old Sarah. Woo! Ah. <laughs> Are you excited, babes? Yes. Oh yeah, we're gonna get PTing right now. I am just cooking up a storm. I am making a sausage uh, pasta bake, which I'm very excited for. So I've got, I've actually got um, vegetarian sausage, which I never ever have, but I've eaten quite a lot today, so uh, I need to get the calories down, so if I use the those sausages, keep it down for me. But I'm buzzing. It's literally going to be so good. It smells so nice. So, of course, as always, I will show you my creation when it's done. But this is what I'm doing so far. So we have got some veg in here that I need to keep stirring. The pasta is on and the sausages are cut and prepped. We've got a little bit of spinach in it. So this dish altogether is going to be 400 and 30 calories which is nothing i mean tom's gonna be a little bit more because i'm gonna put loads more cheese on it and he's got fattier sausages than me um so that is the plan oh can we just take a moment look at that yummy but genuinely of all our dishes this is what i do so this is tom's side he's got the meaty sausages in and like a hundred grams of cheese um, and then I've got the veggie version with my little sausages there with 25 grams of cheese. So if you look at the difference, obviously his is huge because he's doing, he's on a bulk at the minute. So that's what I do for that. And then that's mine. I put a little line in the middle so I know um, whose is whose. But it just means that you're still sociable. You can still eat together. So yeah, I'm going to put it in the oven for 20 minutes and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, you guys. So the food is in the oven and I'm sending out new recipes to my clients tonight. So this recipe that I'm doing is actually going into the recipes books i've been waiting till tonight to send it off and um, so i just need to update this recipe and put the sausage one in there because it is so nice we had it the other night and it's so good so um i want to share it with my ladies and can i just tell you i just worked out the macros for it it's literally got 432 calories in it in my portion obviously so mine was a lot smaller than tom's which i'm very happy about oh my goodness me oh we've seamed up Hopefully it'll come back. There we go. Look at this. This is mine. And that is Tom's. Delicious. Here it is, guys. Look at this. This is mine. And then Tom's is over there. Yummy. Right then, you lot. I have just had a bath. Looking fresh. I'm back in my dressing gown. I feel like I've been in this dressing gown all day. You're already going to watch this and be like, does she ever get dressed? Yes, guys, I did get dressed today, as you saw. So I very kindly got gifted this um, from Elias Skin. It's an Australian brand. Really lovely face mask, as you're about to witness. It just makes your face look really good. It's actually really good for spots, and I've got two whopping great big spots down here that I'm not too happy about. So here it is. There's an Australian pink perfect oh honey so i have actually used this loads of times before i always try my products as you guys would know before i even begin to talk about them so you just put a little bit on you know the drill guys dry skin put it all over the face oh and it smells it literally does smell like lavender so if you like lavender smelling like that relaxing that soothing smell this you guys is the one for you i'm really hoping it's going to help my spots because they are just not looking good these days i mean i'm very lucky with my skin and i know i am and my sister went through awful stages of her skin and i haven't luckily had it as bad as her but definitely like at the minute it's just so bad i, I honestly do just think it's these face masks this stays on for 15 minutes so tomorrow's beauty is we only normally really have it on for 15, um, for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna put it on for 10 and see how we feel. So guys, this is the current situation. I think I'm looking really good. Um, I feel like I've had Botox, so we're gonna wipe it off. Honestly, my face is so, it's literally like a baby's bum. 
I use a simple facial toner. So this is literally just afterwards. Honestly, I do this day and night. True story, my mum has got lovely, luscious skin. It's her 60 years of age. And um, she has literally done skincare her whole life. And she's always like, girls, be gentle around the eyes. She loves it. And she does look amazing, to be honest. Like, I can't fault that at all. So I'm trying to just follow her footsteps. These are literally so nice. So I don't always wear Shark Tilby in the night time because it has got um, SPF in it. It just feels so relaxing and nice. But if I don't use my Shark Tilby Magic Cream and the Magic Serum, then of course I whip out the Simple, which again, it's just really nice. Um, it's this one, this simple one, I really do I love it. It's, it's so thin. It doesn't feel like you're putting loads of cakey moisturiser on your face. There's nothing worse than feeling like your pores are going to clog up. Clog because up, if we're honest, right now these don't need to be clogged up because they are talking to me quite loudly. They're quite vibrant, these ones. I'm just not liking them at all, if I'm honest. <laughs> so yeah, I'll use that sometimes up to today. I haven't worn it today. I normally put it on in the morning, but I didn't do it today. I've saved it for the night time. So nice. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog today. I'm sorry it hasn't been too exciting. It basically has been following me around all day. But that is generally how my days go. And then the only other thing that I do different is I do dance some days. Oh, that's the timer for the face mask. That was long gone, mate. I only had it on for eight minutes, by the way. It was starting to get hard and um, that was long enough and it made my skin feel really soft even after 8 minutes so it done, done its job but yeah so we've had a little bit of a catch up oh I didn't tell you something he mentioned the flat at dinner and he never does that like if he brings up something you know it's going to happen like, he was like so I think we should just go for it if that video, if the video tour comes back we should just go for it and honestly I wish I had my face on, on my cord. I was like, you know, like we spoke about it, but it's always me leading the conversation, but this one was Anyway, so that's that. We don't know what's going to go on. I've got to wait until Monday, and it's currently Wednesday. So when this video goes out, I'll be waiting one more day. Or I might even have it by then, actually. But I'm not joking. The fact that she went on the market and I literally emailed, I want this flat, send me a video tour. <laughs> By the time I send the message, it'd been on for 24 hours. And then... They hadn't even they didn't have it done a video tour because it's so new on the on the site. But you know you just see a flat and it just literally jumps out of me like that. It's just like that. It's got stairs in it, which is quite nice. But anyway, I'm not gonna talk about it anymore because I don't really want to get my hopes up. I'm really worried that we're not gonna get it. Um or I'm just worried it's not gonna be right. It might, you know, I might see the video tour, it might be completely tiny, and I might absolutely hate it, you just don't know. So um yeah, we've got to wait for that. Anyway, that was the Charlotte Hill with serum on my face and it was amazing. Right, lastly, last thing I do every single night now, <laughs> funny story about this. This is from Elemis. So I went to have a massage with Tom. This is actually a really funny story. This is our first time staying in a hotel together. Bear in mind, we've only been together about a year and a half at this point. Um, like now. So yeah, back then it was literally like like eight months, I think it was, when we went to this hotel. Before all this lockdown madness out happened. And um, we had a massage and there was... We went and walked up to the massage room in our dressing gowns, all relaxed. And there's two people standing there. Now we had one therapist in her white gown, and um, you know, like her little watch there, like looked like a really lovely lady, and um, ready to greet us. And then on the other side, we had this fitness guy, this like quite small guy, looked like a really friendly, lovely guy, in his shorts and his little night top and his trainers. And I was thinking, oh, Tom, he'll just say Tom, you know. So here we are, for our medical forms. And he goes, Lucy, my face dropped. I was like, yeah. Anyway, turns out, Tom had the beautifully relaxing massage and I had the sports massage. So there I am with this about middle-aged man in my bikini in, oh God, it's so embarrassing, in this massage room. He was going, oh yes, yeah, so it's a slightly different massage today. I thought, brilliant, you could have given me some money. Anyway, we came out and Tom literally came out of his on me like this. And he was so relaxed and he had a beautiful time. There's me like wide awake. I had these full beams, like lights in my face the whole time. I didn't close my eyes once. 
and I was just like, we have had something completely different. And obviously, I don't want to giggle fast. We haven't been together long, um, and also I just didn't. It was quite expensive. I just didn't want to, like, you know. And anyway, we were sitting on the sun beds for the rest of the day, and um, by the pool. And I was sitting there, and I was like, Tom, that wasn't right. Like. That shouldn't have been like that. Anyway, went to the search for death. I just said, look, I don't want to kick a fuss. You know, I'm not one of these people at all. Um, but I just wanted to say, you know, so basically I did kick a fuss. But I was really polite about it. I wasn't a reader or anything. I hate creating scene. That's not me at all. So I, I was like whispering. And um, I was so worried this ma masseuse was going to walk out and see me moaning. Anyway, instead of um, having another massage, they had nothing but that day. I was like, oh. And um, they gave me eighty pounds worth of treatments, and then I had like another bit of credit as well. So I ended up getting my mum some stuff, and she loved that. So it was uh, worth it in the end. And then I got loads of products, and this is one of the products. So this is their Superfood Kefir Tea Mist. So it is so lovely and relaxing. As you can see, I've got the tiniest bit in there. Now, literally all you do is just spray it on your face and it just, you know that you go to a spa and they just give you that stuff and it just makes you feel like it's magic. This is that. It's so nice, it's really good for your skin as well. So I have just opened up those spots, so this will hopefully get rid of them. Day and night, do this, like this. And then I just let it soak into my face. So you guys, please excuse those spots. That is my little skincare routine in the evening. Just makes me feel really refreshed and just really ready for the next day. Like I'll just go to bed, all this cream and this spray will just soak into my skin. It just makes me feel amazing the next day. I feel like it's got a completely fresh face and no mascara under the eyes at all. I didn't even put mascara on today. I was, it was just a no-go and it just makes me feel good. So I'm gonna go sit on the sofa and watch some TV. Hello, what are you watching? CLT. CLT team again. Well, anyway, you guys, I am going to sign this vlog off here. Wow, look at my skin glowing. And Tommy, you're going to say bye to my lovely friends on YouTube. <laughs> and I will see you next time for another video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. You don't want to miss the next one. And you don't want to miss the next workout, which is coming next Thursday. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.